What's up, Joneses? People always ask, like, you know, where do you go? Where do you hunt? How do you pick bottles? Where do you get bottles from? Well, it is nine o'clock in the morning on a Monday. Took some time off for the big B day. And I'm gonna bring you guys along with me on one of my trips so you can kind of see what it is that I do. So, let's go. on the road and it is 10 o'clock what I hope what I hope to accomplish today is or what I'm actually leaving out today is for a rum I really want a nice rum uh, I gotta go to South Carolina to get plantation XO so that is my last ditch effort if I don't find anything else I'm definitely gonna get plantation XO Appleton's does have a couple older expressions I, I have them on my agenda too to look at check price and see what it look like um, I always say I want to get a bottle of Joy, which I think Joy's like 300 bucks. I don't know if I want to, depends on how good the shopping day is, if I want to invest 300 bucks in a Joy on the chance that I might like it. That's that's one of those uh, try in a bar before you buy kind of deal, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, some, it's my birthday. I might get a little crazy. Um, uh, also, I'm going to be looking for some tequila. Uh, I said I wanted to try Pita Vida. The older expressions, I also said I wanted to try Fortaleza, which I've tried the Fortaleza, but we have never done an episode, and I enjoyed them so much at that bar that I think it would be beneficial to really spend some time with the bottle and give it a full, ep full review. Uh, I also want to give G4 another try. I hear so much about G4, 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 and while the Blanco was okay, for the price, I didn't love it. But what I'm hearing is that some of the aged expressions may be um, more uh, more palatable. And it wasn't that it was bad; it just has a real earthy, grassy taste, and uh, I, I don't I don't like that. So it just it's just not my bag. But I'm also looking for some new things. I would love to run up on a Weller Foolproof or Single Barrel. However, I don't really anticipate that because those releases in North Carolina happened. Uh, it's been probably been three weeks ago now, so I don't imagine there being any out in South Carolina either, but straight ahead onto I-85 South. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens. So I'm always a fan if Proceed it does, but we'll see. South. So I guess let me get off this thing and I'll keep you guys. I guess the next time you'll see me is if something interesting happens or once we hit one of the, I got a plan to maybe try and hit three stores today, but it depends on what I find and um, and time. So, I mean, Trugal, look at what you can see. Uh, this is like one of my favorite spots for just traditional stuff, stuff that is in regular rotation. Um, I have never had any good look, or get any good look pulling um, like something that you can't find, like a, a allocated bourbon or anything along those lines. But I will say, uh, in a lot of cases, they have pretty much the best prices that you're gonna run into um, in the North Carolina. This is actually in South Carolina, South Carolina area. So, big box, lots of good stuff. Uh, let's take a little walk here. I might check out. Uh, I got a pretty decent tequila selection. Um, Santos was one that's on my list. These are some of the classics. Um, 54 for the 1800. 74 uh, Casa Dragona. Have you ever seen? It looks like a half gallon of plantation wrong. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna have to price that. Ooh, these are the new uh, extreme releases from Plantation. 84 for cash. And vodka selection. The MCE is coming new. 
20 bucks for half a G a week. Two. Fred Big Larson. Scott. We got a box of Glen Moore that we haven't tried. That's a one that Bruvin said. Oh, help. I got our own Google pick. And that box is at a 15. It is worthwhile to pop in because you can't find some really good prices on things. Um, yeah, but don't go expecting to get heavily allocated things now they do have those from time to time but don't think you're just gonna pop in and and pick up a blanton's or, or pick up a you know something that's super hard to find might happen but make that be the surprise so i am officially here in fort mill south carolina next stop is going to be uh now one of my places where you can potentially run up on some uh unusual allocated hard to find things so let's see what we find today Right, so this is the Southern, another one of my, right when you walk over the line, favorite stores to pop in. Um, I typically can find something pretty exciting every time I'm here. Um, really good selection. Uh, whoever buys or picks for this store, they'll normally find some pretty rare, not necessarily super rare, but unique things that you don't find in your typical store that you run up on. So, we're gonna take a little walk through and see if we can spend some more money, I guess. Some good selections there. White rooms, Kachaka. Oh yeah, let's see. This is most definitely what I'll probably be taking home. Let me get my, the XO. Um, but I might venture out and try the Fuji. They got a much, you see that? There's a much better price on the Fuji right here. And we just saw that at another store. Uh, this is from, from Colombia, I believe, at Medellin. Some good stuff, good stuff. The Dictador. Which is another one on the list. Um, I'm surprised they don't have, I haven't seen my Appletons yet. So let's look. Here's a vodka selection. Pretty dope. Traditional stuff, you know, Svitka and Pinnacle and all that good stuff. Some rain up in there. But see, like another one, like this is out of Charlotte, Dark Quarter. Something that you might not see every store that you pop in. Cold River, another one. I want to see the bourbon. Now you can run up in here from time to time and find something allocated. We're on a Monday, off day, so I doubt we find anything, but it's always worth it to look. Old granddad, another favorite. This is, let me get over here where you can see a little bit better. The Southern Spirits. Um, see if I can zoom in on that side a little bit. See how it looks. And last on the list is State Line. I think this might be my favorite. I actually ended up coming back to the Southern um, to pick up just one more bottle. 
Um, good trip overall. I couldn't record at State Line. Uh, I think it's partially because it was somebody who was kind of new and really was just by the book on everything. And I, and I thought about not buying any bottles there, but I got over it. It's really just about what that or what that store uh, wants to have in place. And, you know, I was careful trying not to, I'm going to look through the footage, make sure I don't record people in the store. So, you know, not everybody's going to do that. And I understand that this is blind alcohol and creating a safe place and all that good jazz. But anyway, found a couple of good things. Nothing really that I have been hunting for, hunting for, hunting for. Um, but I got a Fortaleza. I got uh, another XO, of course. Uh, I did get the Baku 12. Um, oh, I did find something I've been hunting for, a four square. I've never tried a four square run, run before, so that will be probably my birthday run. And um, probably spent more money than I had intended to, but hey, it happens. So now, yeah, time to head home. Hour and 30, hour and 40 probably from this point. And it's a good shopping day. I'll see y'all sipping soon. Click one drink.